Today we're going to be looking at the Gakken TV Boy. It's the Gakken Compact Vision TV Boy. And it looks like this. The Gakken Compact Vision TV Boy came out in 1983 and it was meant to compete with the Famicom, the Sega SG-1000, the Casio PV-1000, and then the Tommy Tudor Jr. and the Cassette Vision Jr. So they had a lot of competition in Japan and this was obsolete though by the time it was released. And uh, I have two games for it, Mr. Bomb and Excite Invader. Mr. Bomb is like kaboom and this is how the cartridge looks like. And uh, th there it is really small actually and the other cartridge I have is Excite Invader which is related to Space Invaders that's how that one looks and again this system was obsolete by the time it came because it had the power between the likes of the Atari 2600 and the 5200 so it was more like powerful than the 2600 but weaker than the ColecoVision 5200 and yeah other systems around that time. It makes it unusual is this uh, controller, this console is not really made for people who are left-handed. So this is where you grab the controller to function and it is 360 though. Looks kind of like a train. You're going to be handling like train controls from like uh, Denshi to go, kind of like that. And this is where the start button. So you'd be holding it like, well, since I'm filming, you hold your right like this way, and then you hold it like this way. You're holding on like to a handle or something, kind of unusual. Uh, and then this is the on off pause. That's just for illumination that you know that the system's powered on. Uh, this is all faded already. I don't know what it says. Probably related to like, don't remove the cartridge. Uh, when you're powering on the system and then that's how the cartridge looks like cartridge port looks like and again that's how it looks Gakek Gakken compact vision TV boy 360 and here's another for the firing right there uh, the system only had RF and then the AC adapter nothing here on the right and then nothing here on the left on the bottom it just has, well, this one has two rubber feet and two missing. Actually, I don't think, think that had rubber feet originally. It doesn't have any glue residue, so it's probably like this. And then here's for channel one, channel two. And again, since this is Japanese, it's gonna be channel 95, 96. So we'll just take a look here at some gameplay of this obscure console that you've probably never heard of, unless you're gonna be looking at Wikipedia after this video or during this video. <laughs> and see or in google so yeah let's take a look here at the gameplay and we'll do a cut here also before i mentioned that before uh this is just an aftermarket ac it didn't come with an ac adapter when i got this on yahoo auctions japan but it, if you're wondering it's this if you get one without an adapter you'll have to get a 7.7.5 .7 volts and then 2000 milliamps and this is the model if you wanted to know you don't want to go over you know and you don't want to just risk destroying the console so that's this one works with it and it fits snugly over here where is it right here so it fits so now let's do some gameplay of this and let's see how this performs. So, all right, we got the Gakken Compact Vision TV Boy plugged in now. And the funny part was this RF cable they give is so long. It's because this is your, just like the uh, TV Game 6 Nintendos, all the controls are with the console, along with the cassette vision. So you have to take the whole console with you if you want to play far from the TV. But yeah, this is channel 90, oops, 96, 95. So let's take a look here. Let's look at Mr. Bomb first. So Mr. Bomb goes in like that. It might need uh, isopropyl alcohol though, but let's see how what happens. 
yeah, I'm gonna need some isopropyl alcohol because it just does that. Let's try it again. Oh, all right. It was working just a few weeks ago. Now yeah, I have to use isopropyl alcohol for this. So try one more time. Come on. Nope. Alright. So let me do a jump cut here. Let's try if um, Excite Invader works. The only problem with this thing is like it is hard to remove cartridge. Oh. Alright. Let's try Excite Invader first as well. That one's a little bit easier. Yeah, you need, you can tell, you can see there, it just needs, oh, there we go. There's Excite Invader. So that's Excite, Excite Invader. So this is the menu of the Gakken Compact Vision TV Boy. So there's, weird is that, it says two players, you would have to scroll down up and down this way for two players. But the funny part is there's not two controllers. So what you would have to do is just, you have to switch turns. So you have to press this for start. So this is Excite Invader. So you have to move it down like this and then to press start, uh, press this button here. So it's kind of like Space Invaders, but it's vertical instead of horizontal. But it has a uh, cross between uh, Oh, now it's kind of stiff. Come on, go down. Oh boy, it's stiff. All right. Huh, now it's not responding. Interesting. Okay. Let's try it. Oh yeah, there it is, there it is now. Sorry. I use my left hand instead of my right hand. But yeah, there it is. It's a cross between like, oh. I can tell you this thing is really stiff, this controller here. Try this way. There we go. So yeah, the goal is to not get hit. So yeah, it's like a it's space invaders basically, but vertically. Kind of a different concept, but the same. But yeah, it reminds you, reminds me of like the 2600, the graphics and the sound it has that 2600 feel. That's what I feel like for the well, this game at least. But again, this should have been part of the second generation of consoles, not the third. So, oh, okay. Oh. I guess it's easier to play with two hands and one, but yeah. So, let's see if I can hit this thing. Oh yes, I got it. Yes, I got it again. So I don't get hit. But with the stiff controls, yeah, so it's kind of crap. But yeah, game over. So that, in a nutshell, is Excite Invader. What I need to do, oh, I'm gonna try that. Let's just see. Uh, so you press start again. I didn't try the pause button. Oh, it does work. Okay, so pause. There you go. So pause works. The pause button still works to this day, which is good. But the controls are stiff. You have to like really press down. Oh. So let's play next. Let's uh, play Mr. Bomb. I'll have to get some isopropyl alcohol here and uh, get it, but yeah. Last part to see. Uh, all right, <laughs> the stiffness of this. Okay, let's try to find some entrepreneurial alcohol so we can play Mr. Bond. Do a bit of this next time. This is what I use: 91% isopropyl alcohol. The pellets left there, and then let's put it now in here and see what it does. doing anything the head. Come on. It was working like a few weeks ago. 
Uh, I probably have to clean the contacts. All right, so cleaned it up again, and this is how dirty it was. Ew, so let's turn it on now. And we have Mr. Bomb. Mr. Bomb is working now. And again, this one has, again, the one and two player. Yeah, so, and then let's press start. So that's how it looks like. So what, oh. So what you need to do is to catch these. So I got that, but you need to refill. Reminds me of Kaboom. Ah, uh, I don't have enough water though. Okay. Alright. So the game is. Uh, so that was game over for player one. Let's do two players so it can last longer. And you can you press start here. I thought this game was more fun than Excited Vader. The controls is very touchy, which is good, better than the stiff controls of Excited Vader. All right. Just how do you? It's impossible. How do you not to refill? You have to go like this. It's not enough time. So basically, they did it that way. There's other games. Oops. There are other games here that are quite fun on the Gakin. They have uh, Super Cobra. Then they have, uh, what was it? Uh, 2000, you play as a tank. The problem with this system is that the games are expensive. There's no multi-cart for this. There was only six games anyway, but still, I don't, I haven't seen any multi-cart for this yet. And it's unfortunate because this is only stayed in Japan and the games are really expensive. Luckily, I found this Mr. Bomb on Yahoo Ox in Japan like a, like a few like a few months ago. It was only 5,000 yen, which is about $38, which is not bad because considering Mr. Bomb goes over like 10,000 yen or 8, 9,000 yen, which is only like $60, $70. But yeah. And I like this. I like Kaboom. So, I like these games. I mean, the graphics are primitive, yes. What do you expect, though? This was supposed to come out in 1981 instead of 1983. But what a difference two years makes. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got it. All right. But yeah. Mr. Bomb. Good game as well for the system. But yeah. So, I only have two games because of the rarity of the games, and I wish there was a multi-card for, for this system. That'd be nice. Unless someone is watching or someone from the future knows that there's a multi-card, please put it on in the comments. That would be great. Maybe I asked uh, Klaus in Team Europe, but I don't think he would make one yet because uh, the, sk the rarity of the games. But, yeah, see, this one is stiff as heck again. I went back to it. It's a good game. I just wish the controls wasn't so stiff. I'm pressing down, too. So. Uh, come on. Come on. See, it's not responding to... I'm not like Kaboom. But, anyway, if you ever come across this system, you should maybe pick it up. I would. And But I like gaming history, and I like uh, getting a lot of cool, unique consoles. So, it's your preference. It's totally playable still. It's just, well, this game kind of. I don't know if it's this con the control stick. I don't think so. It's more the game. Because I just played, again, Mr. Bomb, and it was not this stiff, the controls. So I'll go back to Mr. Bomb again, and let's just see. All right. Go back one more time to Mr. Bomb. Let me just see. No, it's fine. 
Oh, but I am only moving left and right. Um, you don't move up and down here, I guess. So, anyway, thank you for watching this commentary and summary and the gaming history of this machine, the Gakken Compact Vision TV Boy. Anyway, thank you for watching again, and until the next video, thank you for all the support and um, watching my videos. I like just talking about these consoles, obscure consoles and their history. I might do like a, a generational perspective, AKA like Adam Korolik that I remember. Anyway, thanks again. Take care, until next time.